Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of the Nintendo Switch's games announced for the first week of August, so let's get started. Explore a post-pandemic fiction Mediterranean island and confront your nemesis in Horror Tales The Wine. The forsaken capital of this archipelago is at the palm of your hands. Do not let yourself be fooled by the gentle sea breeze or the Mediterranean vistas or the comforting summer sun. Since the Devil's Fever's pandemic ravaged the city, it was abandoned, and now only horrific nightmares await at the ready to haunt your every stop. Take 2 has revealed that Civilization VI Anthology is available on the eShop, and a physical version is in the work to set to include both the base game of Civ VI alongside both the Rise and Fall plus Gathering of the Storms expansion sets, not to mention the new edition of the New Frontiers Pass as well. After much waiting, Baldo the Guardian Owls is finally confirmed for August 27th release on the Nintendo Switch. This is a journey into a magical land full of mysteries and stories to discover with charming visuals. Travel around the world as Baldo interacts with many weird and funny characters scattered everywhere. Some may need your help and others want your destruction, so traveling off the beaten path may provide plenty of rewards. Street Outlaws 2 Winner Takes All raises the stakes of the series' cutthroat competition action, but each race is just one more battle in a much larger war. Your success and reputation will depend on how well you perform, how well you mod your vehicle, and the experience you rack up along the way. Customize the variety of high-performance rides and defeat all of the challenges to be crowned the champion. This haunting horror game draws you into the mysterious atmosphere of a film noir. Delve deep into the mind of Mary, a detective trying to unravel the secrets of her past memory through her own memory. Use the focus feature to see through the eyes of your pursuer as you try to survive a suspenseful game of cat and mouse. Dollhouse is set to release this October. Death End's Request 2 is set to launch later this year in Japan, and Idea Factory has now confirmed that its full localization effort is in effect for the Nintendo Switch release in 2022. All of the previously available DLC will be included, as well as some quality of life changes for this dark and gritty JRPG. Face the Force Horsemen of the Apocalypse in epic card battles. Cardiclism Shards of the Four is a procedurally generated collectible card game mixing action and RPG elements. Collect creatures and spell cards through your journey and unleash their powers if anyone opposes you. Send the hellish waves back where they came from after you build your deck and amass the perfect army. An interactive poem about a superstar athlete and all the encompassing love between a mother and daughter, A Memoir Blue, is coming to the Switch. This is a unique aesthetic that combines hand-drawn and 3D art that brings Miriam's magical realist journey to life as she swims into the depths of her memory with a series of gameplay vignettes that blend sacrifice and heartwarming to victory and pride. Truck Driver released on Switch a few months back, and now Suadesco is bringing a fully-fledged expansion called Truck Driver Heading North that will bundle the base game sold both physically and digitally with the brand new DLC. It is said to include a brand new set of locations, new trucks, new mechanics that have not been seen before in the series. Originally revealed for a Japanese release later this year, Mary Skelter Finale, it's finally confirmed for a Western release in North America and Europe for September 30th. This is the final game of this loaded dungeon crawling franchise that's seen as releases of the first two previous games on the Nintendo Switch in past years. A young girl named Yu embarks on an adventure to become a great hero. By her side is a fearsome beast known as the Dragon King, who guides her and protects her. However, the truth of the Dragon King's past will soon rear his ugly head threatening the peaceful life that she once enjoyed up until now. Explore charming settings, overcome monsters and puzzles, and discover a story of compassion, heroism that's always facing the past. Explore multiple different regions within the world of Dredge. Improve your boat equipment including rods, engines, lights, and cargo space. Upgrade your vessel by trading in for bigger and better boats. Fish with multiple different rods, toward nets and crab pots. Discover mysterious relics that unlock supernatural powers and endure the lonely nighttime waters and survive what is awaiting to you on the other side of the depths. Bonfire Peaks is a puzzle game about closure. Navigate expertly designed puzzles in a breathtakingly lovely voxel-based world. 
filled with content that has been burned away to create perfectly fine-tuned experience, filled with richly rewarding challenges and surprisingly new mechanics that will keep sparking your interest right through the end. Rescue Earth's precious life plants in your robotic suit as you navigate a flooded city and you break into the underground lair to explore ancient pyramids. Collect seeds and return them to the safety of your vault, then nurture those seeds to grow them into substantial crops. Unlock additional tools and items to customize your suit in Doomsday Vault, set to launch on August 5th. Play with a library full of characters and themes featuring heroes, villains, dragons, vampires, infidelity, remorse, love, lies, madness, and much more. Use the blank canvas to manipulate secrets and desires, slay monsters, or terrorize the people that you love, betray lovers, and bring them back together when it launches later this summer. Repel an invasion of mysterious, charming creatures in a vast, murky marshland. Strike your foes in a godlike slash-based manner and experience ambiguous encounters brimming with personality. In Apple Slash, you play as a mighty Apple Knight wielding the powerful slashing sword while he embarks on a quest full of creativity and design combat. In Cupid Paradise, you play as Cupid's Corporation's top bridal advisor, whose job is to consult Invoke singles to make their wildest romantic dreams come true. But she has one huge secret up her sleeve, and that's the fact that she's none other than Cupid herself. Immerse yourself in human culture with all the exhibits from the Human Englandland dig site, each accompanied with expert insights. A Monstrous Expedition is an adorable open puzzle game with a simple but deep set of mechanics backed with possibilities to discover and hundreds of islands to visit. Find your way through 7 unique areas and collect 51 hidden objects to unlock the archive gallery displaying the different artworks that inspire the visuals for the game. This is a game where you'll explore beautiful dioramas and go through dangerous and trippy labyrinths in the journey inside the paintings of Ezo Kushi. Cosmic Express is a puzzle game about planning the train route of the world's most awkward space colony. From the minds behind a good snowman is hard to build and the art for Tiu from Klondike. It's cute, harder than it looks and guaranteed to give you hours of frustrating fun across hundreds of levels. The elegantly designed puzzle game about chemistry, Sakam Bond, uses logical minimalism and beauty crafted with love and science. Featuring over 100 levels of molecule making, mind bending, and original soundtracks where no chemistry is needed to succeed. A Good Snowman is Hard to Build is an adorable puzzle game about being a monster in making snowman. Enjoy simple graphics and clean distinctions as what actions take during each one of the puzzle sequences with a relaxing soundtrack. And that's what the Game of Souls will be covering this week. Nintendo has finally begun to talk a little bit more about the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes. We should be seeing a Pokemon Direct within the next upcoming weeks. The timing is just right now that Pokemon Unite is out of the door and is doing extremely well. The Pokemon Company usually does their presentations in May, but we're almost three months later with no details for their two biggest upcoming releases, so expect to hear something soon. Also, Nintendo's fiscal reports are out next week, so we should see whether the Nintendo Switch stacks up sales-wise after the reveal of the Nintendo Switch OLED, which has continued to cut into the console sales according to market analysts, as well as gamers who are choosing to wait to upgrade in October. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya!